Today's Read Aloud is a simple biography of the man who was in charge of America's army during the Revolution and became the new nation's first president. Young George Washington, America's First President. Written by Andrew Woods, illustrated by John Himmelman. George Washington was America's first president. He was born in Virginia in 1732. In those days, America was ruled by the King of Great Britain. Virginia was a British colony. Young George didn't care who ruled America. He was too busy playing games and helping his family on their farm. When George was seven, he started school. He went to a one-room schoolhouse. Children of all ages sat together and were taught by one teacher. When George was 11, a very sad thing happened. His father died. George was sent to stay with his older brother, Lawrence. Lawrence lived on a big farm called Mount Vernon. George loved it there. At Mount Vernon, George learned a lot about farming, but there was time for fun too. He hunted, fished, and rode horses. George loved riding horses most of all. When George got older, he joined Virginia's army. He led many attacks against the French and Indians. George was a good leader. Soon he became the head of Virginia's army. One day, George met Martha Custis. She was a young widow with two children. George and Martha fell in love. Soon they were married. George took his new family to live at Mount Vernon. They were very happy there. But life in America was not easy. The British king made the American colonies pay high taxes and he passed laws that people did not like. George Washington wanted to fight for America's freedom. Many people agreed with him. The colonists went to war against Great Britain. This war was called the American Revolution. Washington was in charge of the whole American army. The army fought hard against the British. Washington's men had little money or supplies, but Washington was a brave leader. He made his army believe it could win. Finally, after eight long years, the war ended. The colonies were free. America was free. After the revolution, Washington still had important jobs to do. He helped create the Constitution. People set down rules for the new government to follow. Then he was chosen to be the first president of the United States. He was president for eight years. When his days as president were over, Washington and his wife went home to Mount Vernon. Two years later, George Washington died there. Across the river from Mount Vernon is Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. It was named in Washington's honor. America has had many presidents, but few are as well-loved as George Washington.